Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Today we have game one of the 1987 San Francisco Giants against the 1990 Cincinnati Reds. The, the big red machine with the nasty boys. And uh, this is the National League semifinal round. The winner of this game will go on to play the 86 Mets in the National League Championship. And, uh, and then uh, for the right to go on to the World Series of the Round Robin Tournament. So, with that having been said, we're going to get going here. Um, on the mound for San Francisco, the visiting San Francisco Giants will be Mike Krukow, who in 1987 was 5-6 with a 4.80 earned run average. And on the mound for the Cincinnati Reds of 1990 will be Jose Rijo. So the Giants bat first. Let's get underway with it. That's a 5-2. It's a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman is a 3. That's Billy Duran. And that is an 11, so that is an out, one away. That brings up Will the Thrill Clark, and he gets a 3-6, which is a strikeout. Two away. And Kevin Mitchell's up. He gets a 4-3, and that is a fly ball to the right fielder. And the right fielder is... Um, for the Reds, let's see what he is. He is a four, actually. And that is a 13 and a four in the outfield. Might be an out. And no, it's a single. <clears throat> so, Jeff Leonard is up with two outs and a man at first. And that is a one five, which is a single. And the Giants have a little bit of a late rally going here. Two hits for the Giants. And Candy Maldonado is up, and he gets a 6-10. And that is a ground ball to the third baseman. That is, I think he's a 2. I think that's Sabo, and he, he is. And that is a 5, and that's going to be an out. So, San Francisco threatens a little bit, but they get nothing in the first. And we go to the bottom of the first inning. Cincinnati up. Billy Duran. He gets a 2-4, which is a fly ball to left. One away. Barry Larkin gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball to left. Two away. The left fielder very busy today for San Francisco. And Hal Morris gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball first base. So the Reds went 1-2-3 right there. And we go to the top of the second. Chili Davis up. He gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout. One away. Rob Thompson gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout. We know that. Two away. And Bob Brenly gets a 4-10, which is a fly ball to right field. The Giants go 1-2-3 right there. We go to the bottom of the second. Chris Sabo up. He gets a 6-3. That's a fly to left. The left fielder is a 2. That's Jeff Leonard. And that's a 4, so he's out. One away. Eric Davis gets a 4-10. That's a fly ball to center. Two away. And Glenn Braggs is up, and he gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. So since the two runners on and two hits for uh, San Francisco in the first inning, nothing has happened. Eddie Milner is up. He gets a 3-7. That's a single one to 13. 
And that is actually going to be a line out to second base, one away. Uribe comes up, he gets a one, two, that's a walk. So Jose Uribe works a walk. And Will the Thrill Clark is up, five, nine, that is a strikeout, two away. And Kevin Mitchell, and he gets a four, seven, that is a walk. So again, San Francisco has two men on with two out. Second time that's happened for them. And Leonard is up at the plate and he gets three eight, which is a pop out to second. And just like happened the first time, they went down without scoring. So we go to the bottom of the third in a scoreless tie in this game one with Billy Hatcher up at the plate, four five, that is a fly ball to center field, one away. Herm Winningham, 111, is a line out to second base. Krukow is pitching a lot better than I'm sure the Reds thought he was going to. El, um, Joe Oliver gets a 2 6, and that's a fly ball to left field. And the left fielder definitely for San Francisco, very busy today. No runs for. Uh, Cincinnati there and we go to the top of the fourth. Candy Maldonado gets a 112. That's a foul out to the catcher plus injury. But we'll deal with that in a minute. Chili Davis gets a 4-7. That is a walk. So there's a man aboard. Rob Thompson is up. He gets a 310. That's a ground ball B. So now Rob Thompson is up there. And that's two down with a man at first and Brenly up. And he strikes out. So let's see what happened with the injury to Maldonado. That would be huge if they have to miss him. And they do for quite a while. Probably the rest of the tournament. And he was the... Um, he was one of the out. No, maybe he was a DH. Center, Miller's in center. Leonard is in left. Chili Davis was the DH, but Chili Davis, well, no, he has to stay in the DH. Otherwise, we would have to use a pitcher bat for him. So, we are going to get a new um, a new right fielder for them for the Giants and the new right fielder is going to be Michael Drette Michael Drette will go in at right. And Krukow still back out on the mound. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Bill Duran up at the plate. And that is a 2-4, which is a fly ball to left. Krukow is pitching out of his mind. He's allowed them to nothing. Larkin is up 5-9. The ground ball second base C. He's no hitting them, in fact. Hal Morris gets a 6-8. That is a double one to 16. That'll be the first hit. And it is a double. First hit for Cincinnati. And Chris Sabo up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. So the Reds go down. They get nothing. We go to the top of the fifth in a scoreless game. Eddie Milner up. 4-4 four, four is a ground is a fly ball center field. The center fielder for the Reds is Eric Davis, and he is a two. I believe that's who it is. And that's a seven, that's an out. Seven is an out for pretty much anybody. 
Um, Glenn Braggs is up. He gets a 4-3. That is a first base X, and that's Will the Thrill Clark. He's a 2. That's a 6. That's an out. And uh, Billy Hatcher gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball, third base B. Krukow continues to stymie the Reds. And we go to the top of the sixth. Uribe is up. 6-11 is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is, I believe it looks like he's a two. Yes. And that's a 19 and a two in the outfield is an out one away. Will Clark is up and he gets a four nine. That is a strikeout two away. And Kevin Mitchell's up, and he gets a 1-8, and that's a home run. Kevin Mitchell going deep. That's the first run of the game for either team, and the Giants get it. And Jeffrey Leonard comes up, and he gets a 5-4, which is a home run, 1-3, to three, or a double. And that's going to be a double. And that's the fourth hit. For the Giants. All of a sudden they're getting through on Rio and Aldrete comes up and he grounds to third. So that's the end of the inning. But not before the Giants strike for one and we go to the bottom of the sixth where the Giants have had one nothing. Herm Winningham gets a 2-7 which is a single. At least the Reds are hitting now starting to. Joe Oliver gets a 6-9. That's a walk. They've got two runners on with no outs. And Billy Duran gets a 6-4. That's a fly to, to left field, one away. Barry Larkin gets a 2-5, which is a single double asterisk and knocks in the tying run. Only one out. They're going to play for the double play. I don't like bringing the infield in. Never have. 4-6 is a ground ball short. And he is, I believe, a 1. Uribe. Yes, he is. A shortstop 1. They may just get that. It might have been a good gamble. 14 on a shortstop 1 is an out double play. And they gambled and they won on the gamble. So we go to the top of the 7th. With the score 1-1. One, one, and uh, Chili Davis at the plate. He gets a 3-9, which is a, ground, is a ground ball second base. One away. Rob Thompson gets a 5-3. That's a walk. Bob Brenly gets a 1-5. That's a strikeout. Two away. And up steps Eddie Milner, and he gets a 4-9, and that is a strikeout. No runs for the Giants in the 7th. We go to the bottom of the 7th in a 1-1 game. Chris Sabo up at the plate, 6-7. That's a single one to 10. And that is actually a single. Another hit for the Reds. Eric Davis up. He gets a 5-7. That's a triple 1-3 to three or a double. That's going to be big. That is going to be a double. Runners are at second and third with one down. With no down. No down. Glenn Braggs are bringing the infield in. Now they will. Strike out. Braggs strikes out. Billy Hatcher up. They are going to walk Billy Hatcher and pitch to Herm Winningham with the infield back. That's a 3-4 and it's a walk and it was a costly one. That was a bad decision. The Giants made a bad decision after making a good one before. 
because Cincinnati just took the lead. Now they, they have to double down now, and they have to keep the infield back and hope for the double play with Joe Oliver up, and he gets a 6-8. And that's a double one to 16. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. And so Krukow finally is not doing really well. And it is 4-1 Reds, Billy Duran up, that's a 5-5, that's a fly ball C, nobody advances. And Barry Larkin's up, he gets a 2-7, that's a walk, that loads the bases back up. And up steps Hal Morris, he gets a 2-6, that's a ground ball second base. They're out of the inning, but not before three runs have scored to take what is probably a very big lead now. Uribe is up against uh, Rio. He gets a 3-11, that's a ground ball to short. Will Clark gets a 3-8, that's a single. Fifth hit for the Giants. Kevin Mitchell up, he gets a 2-3, that's a ground ball B. Fielder's choice, and Mitchell's at first with two down and Leonard at the plate. And that's a 4 11. That's a ground ball C. So, no runs come in for the Giants, and there's going to be a pitching change for the Giants. He's coming on. In the bottom of the eighth, with Chris Sabo up, that's a 6 10. That is a walk. Only thing in the column, and he gets it, and it's a walk. Eric Davis gets a 6-8. That's a strikeout. One away. Glenn Braggs gets a 2-7. That's a strikeout. Two down. And Billy Hatcher gets a 4-8. And that is a strikeout. So Price comes in. He does the job. Shuts everybody down. But it doesn't really... Maybe it doesn't matter because... Right here, the Giants have to have three runs just to tie the game and keep it going. Mike Aldrete is up. He gets a 2-9. That's a strikeout. Chili Davis is up. He gets a 6-8. That's a fly ball left field. And that brings up Robbie Thompson, and he gets a 6-7, and that's a ground to the second baseman. He's a 3. That is a 4. It might be something. It isn't, it's an out. It is something, it's an out. And so that is the game, folks. And the uh, Giants go down in game one by the score of four to one. And so the 87 Giants are down one game to nothing. And we will be playing game two. Be on the lookout for game two in the future. That's it for me, though. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Sign it off.